Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn broadcast receivers. Let's get started. So what is the broadcast receivers? As you know, Android Studio has four contents, activity, service, content provider and broadcast receiver. So what is the broadcast receiver? For example, uh, you are using the, your mobile phone and you have low battery. In this situation, uh, your device give a notification your battery is low. We can see that notification using broadcast receivers. And there are a lot of properties uh, you can use using broadcast receivers. For example, Wi-Fi connection or airplane mode, disable or enable. In this video, we will use airplane mode receiver. I won't write the entire code uh, instead of I will step, I will introduce you step by step. But first of all, I want to see our application. And let's close the, let's open the our airplane mode. And as you can see, AirPod, Air mode enables uh, our application, give it a notification. Let's try to close. And as you can see, AirPlay mode disabled. Let's stop our application. And let's stop the AirPlay mode change receiver class. And as you can see, I created a class and this class inherited from broadcast receiver. And we override a function or receive. And we have a one parameter is AirPlay mode enabled. And we are using this state in here intent.get boolean extra states and first default value is false and inside this uh, if as block we are checking this is enable or non or disable if it is enabled we have a toast message if it is disabled we have a toast message in here and it is so easy to use uh, broadcast receivers and let's look to how we can use inside our activity. And as you can see, I created a one latent var receiver from our class and our defined and uh, I am defining our parameter in here. And we are checking using intent filter if is there any change about the airplay mode. I am adding the my parameter inside register receiver function. This function coming from uh, Java, you can see broadcast receiver and intent filter has a constructor. And we have a on stop function. And as you can see, it's so easy to use. You can use easily in your project. And if you want to see source code, you can find the below description. I will share a link uh, for this project, my GitHub repository. And thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.